What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to calculate the value of rolling radius. So without spending much time, let's start now. So first we are going to see the diagram, then we will move ahead. Okay. So this is our tire and this is the road. The length of the contact patch here is 2a. The contact patch is making at the angle 2 theta at the center. This is also called the tire plate angle. The tire is going forward with the forward velocity of v and it is rotating with the angular velocity of omega in the clockwise direction. Okay. When the car is moving, the tire are loaded. So the loaded height of the tire is given by Rh. The geometric height of the tire, which is the radius of the tire is given by Rg and the rolling radius is given by Rw. Okay. Note that the rolling radius is somewhere between the loaded height and the geometric radius. We are going to find the value of rolling radius. So this is our diagram and we know that the velocity can be written as r into omega, fine. So we can write the radius, the rolling radius equals to vx divided by omega, where vx is the wheel forward velocity and omega is the wheel angular velocity. Practically, the value of rolling radius can be calculated by the tire vertical deflection is, so the tire vertical deflection is rg minus rh, you can see in the figure. So we can write rh equals to rg into cos theta and a equals to rg into sin theta. Fine. Where a is the half length of the contact patch. So this is our equation 1. Now rg minus rh equals to rg into 1 minus cos theta. This is our equation 2. If the motion of the tire is compared to the rolling of rigid disc with a radius of rw, that is the rolling radius, then the tire must move with a distance a. Okay. So a equals to rw multiplied by theta. From equation 1 and 3 we get rw equals to rg multiply by sin theta by theta. So here we get the value of rolling radius in terms of rg and theta. Now I'm going to expand sin theta by theta using the Taylor series. Okay, so rw equals to rg multiply by 1 minus 1 by 6 into theta square. I'm going to take the two terms only. So this is our equation 4. Now for cos theta the Taylor series can be written as cos theta equals to 1 minus theta square whole divided by 2. Again, I'm taking only two terms. Now from here, you can write theta square equals to 2 into 1 minus cos theta. So from equation 2, we can write theta square equals to 2 into whole multiplied by 1 minus Rh by Rg. So this is our equation 5. Now I'm going to put equation number 5 into equation number 4. So finally, we get the rolling radius value, which is Rw equals to Rg multiplied by 1 minus 1 by 3, whole multiplied by 1 minus Rh by Rg. Okay. So on solving this, we get Rw equals to 2 by 3 multiplied by Rg plus 1 by 3 multiplied by Rh. So this is the value of rolling radius. So here you can see that Rh is the function of the tire load, which is Fz. So as the load increases, the Rh will also decrease. So Rh can be written as Rg minus Fz divided by Kz, where Kz is the, the tire vertical stiffness. Okay. So this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you find the video useful, do share with your friends and colleagues. Let everyone know about the value of rolling radius. And also, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you have any queries regarding the video or the vehicle dynamics, you can also check my blogs on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.